Now that you have your products created and ready to sell on Corona Point of Sale, who's going to sell them and manage them? We need to create some cashiers and users. Cashiers are employees that operate the point of sale while users are employees that have access to the Corona Cloud backend. Each different type of employee also has a role assigned to them. This role determines what privileges your employee will have either while operating the POS or navigating the cloud. First, click the Employees tab and then Cashier Roles. You can either edit the default one that appears here or create a new one. The Cashier Role needs its own unique number and a name. The permissions for this role appear on the right hand side of the screen. Permissions are listed as Available or Selected. If a permission is in the Available column, the cashier may not perform these actions. If a permission is in the Selected column, the cashier may do these functions. Simply choose the permission that you want to use and use the arrow buttons to move them between columns. Then save the role. For more information on the individual permissions, see the Corona POS online user manual. Now, under the Employees tab, click on Cashiers. Edit one of the default cashiers, give them a unique number, a first and last name, and a code. This code is what the cashier will use when logging into the POS, allowing you to track what transactions they are handling. In addition, give them a cashier role, which we just configured. The alias field can be used if a cashier wants to be referred by something other than their given name. You can also change the background color for each cashier. This is useful for seeing at a quick glance who is logged into the point of sale at a given time. You may want to make sure that the cashier is using his or her own unique login. Additionally, if the cashier expects a blue background and sees a green one, they will know that someone else is logged in. The rest of the fields here are optional. Configuring users and user roles is similar to cashiers, but keep in mind that users are employees that log into the Corona Cloud. First, configure your user role. Give it a name and a number. Then select the permissions you wish to grant to your user. If a box is checked, the user can access that function as well as any nested inside of it. If a box is blank, the opposite is true. If a box is aligned through it, that means there are some nested permissions that are available and some that aren't. Please note that the master account user will always have all permissions granted to them. Now, create a user. Enter their email address twice, their name, their phone number, and select their user role. Lastly, select which organizational units they have access to see. If you have more than one store, it might be useful to only allow a store manager to see the sales numbers for their particular store. Once this user is saved, they will receive an email with their password. Lastly, let's change the automatically generated password that you received to something that you can remember. Hover over the welcome button on the top right portion of the screen and click on My User Account. Then click Change Password. Enter in your old password, and then your new one, twice. This new one must be nine digits, contain at least one number, one lowercase, and one uppercase letter. Then save. If you ever forget your password, you can reset it by clicking Forgot Password. Enter in your email address, and a link will be sent to you confirming that you want to reset your password. After clicking the link, a new password will be sent to you. Also, from the My User Account section, you can request an email address change. Since the master account cannot be edited, this process will allow you to change the username for the master account in case that person no longer works for the company anymore. Click the Request Email Change button and enter in the new address you want associated with the current user. Next, send an email to support at coronapos.com explaining the circumstances for the change. The Corona Support Team will verify the request and approve or deny it. Congratulations, you now have your employees entered into the Corona POS and the Corona Cloud.